Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Brandon, also known as Bramat, and we're here for StarCraft 2. And uh, this time we have another game on Cloud Kingdom, because every replay that's been released by professional players has been on Cloud Kingdom or on Ohana. Um, I'm hoping we can get, like, Taldarim Altar was like two seasons ago when everybody released replays for that, but now we're on the same two maps. I mean, I haven't, I'm not saying this is the only two, but it seems like most games are um, played and released on one of these two maps. So we're here on Cloud Kingdom again with our red Terran player spawning down in the bottom right-hand corner is Maker, who I believe is right now on Team Legion. And recently he played in the world, uh, I think he played for the Big Blizzard Championship, StarCraft II Championship in Mexico. So congrats on that. And then up in the top right-hand corner of Cloud Kingdom, spawning as our uh, Zerg player, is Team Liquid's Chef. So Sheth is a player I've casted before. I enjoy him. He is the manor zerk. He's all friendly and such in the ladder. As we can see, they had friendly banter going on in the chat. But nonetheless, these are the two players going head-to-head -head on this map. Uh, again, if you did not watch my previous video, sorry for the microphone quality. Um, the microphone I typically use for some reason is not working completely, completely with the USB which I'm going to have to get checked out. Uh, I'm going to do my best to solve that problem as soon as possible, but in general, it's not working. So I'm going to need to look into that, and whenever I find some sort of answer for that, I will certainly go back to using my other mic, but right now I'm using my built-in computer's mic, which is not bad, but uh, it doesn't have the typical sound quality that my other one, had, uh, that my other mic had, which was like more canceled more background noise and this one it's weirder to talk into because if i get too quiet it doesn't record if i get too loud it, it's loud so we're gonna find out how this goes sorry if i'm blowing your ears out but nonetheless i'll be using a different mic just so you know that so both players here will be going for an early expansion we will see a rax here and then uh directly into a first expansion for maker and then an early expansion for shep then throwing down his spawning pool so he will be droning up there both players uh, pretty much even on economy. And so, if we look here, there are two gases actually coming down for Maker pretty early, about the 320 uh, mark, I would say, is when the, both gases were being thrown down. So, we have double gas coming there. No gases just yet for Liquid Shep. He, again, I always mention this, uh, re this uh, Overlord placement. What's happening is it's above this cliff here, which the Terran player or any player cannot see up that cliff to see this Overlord, but the Overlord can obviously see down. And this is where an army is going to be typically stored, so he's going to be able to see the army and upgrades and things like this. And uh, even this gas here, if you wanted to, maybe even poke out if he's brave. And uh, he will not actually be able to be scouted unless if there's some scan thrown down, but I don't think it's worth throwing down a scan to see that Overlord unless we have some really key play coming out that you cannot have uh, scouted, or you just need to, um, I don't know, you, or you have a viking out or something like this, you can also see up there, viking, medevacs, anything like that, uh, anything that flies, so Liquid Chef will be scouting there, throwing down his two, two gases now, so he will have one extractor coming down up in the main, and then a second one down in the natural, two queens here at the front, four defenses, and being able to throw down those creep tumors, so making sure to get that creep spread early, he is not yet, uh, Oh, there's his queen up the main. He might have walked his queen from his main down here to the natural. He does need to get that. He will. This map is kind of different because the creep almost connects, so it's not as necessary to make sure that you have good creep spread uh, between the two bases. You know, it is through your natural and your third base, but the main and the natural you do not have to worry as much about, but uh, connecting with creep would always be helpful. So... If we look over here in Maker's base, he does have that bunker filled with two Marines. He is getting out those Hellions now. And if we look, he will continue to con uh, get those Hellions and also will might be going directly into Banshees, throwing down that Starport into the Tech Lab. So he might be getting Banshees out fairly quickly here. And if we look, this Queen will be uh, throwing down those Creep Tumors, so getting that Creep spread fairly early on. Only has a few 
Zerglings out, or those are four that were over here, and getting a third up fairly quickly here. I don't think he has any Evo Chambers up just yet. We do see a Roach Worm coming out, though, and starting to mine that gas. But these two Hellions will come out and start being annoying. Um, nine Creep Spread there, just barely killing that one off before it burrowed itself into the ground there. And these four will be moving up immediately, scouting that third. will probably not force a cancel at the current rate of damage that they're dealing, but this Queen will be scaring those Hellions off. And, uh, yeah, we do have an Overlord being thrown down here, and you will be checking over in this corner base. These Hellions dealing damage here at the front. Probably going to start pushing out a few Zerglings, maybe even get a Surround or something on that. If we look in the production, he actually is not getting any more Zerglings, but will not be canceling that base, obviously. He will be able to keep it alive. So he has a total of six, I think, uh, Hellions here. Three and three. Nice split there. We'll be heading up into each base, and then the Roach is coming up. This will pretty much deny that place play altogether. We will not have to worry about that anymore. The creep spread very good between the natural and the third, so he will be able to move those Roaches quickly in between the two bases. If we look here, it's still on two bases, building up a third base here. And also has a total of two gases still, and uh, Sheth will continue to sit on two gases as well. Getting a bunch of roaches and zerglings heading up here into this base. These banshees will be able to cause a ton of havoc though because there's really no way of stopping this. All the workers here at the front, those will be in a bunch of free work kills after this bunker goes down, which no doubt it will be going down. Those marines will quickly be eliminated as well. And all these workers are completely exposed now. This second base will be completely denied. We'll probably use a, lose a lot of units to these banshees, but just wow there's uh this front being completely wide open not able to guard that with workers and pulling off all these workers i think this is pretty much game over at this point there's really no way of saving this uh sitting up here in the front tanking it getting these banshees the banshees i mean technically can kill off all these uh these roaches he does have those two banshees getting a third out now as well <clears throat> excuse me my throat is quite dry but uh, sending out that marine as well, that marine might have as well died as well. So, all these dead and dying over here in the Terran base. You can see that those three roaches will die off now as well. This third base up and mining, if we check the economy now, it's definitely in Liquid Chef's favor. Not even mining for Maker at this point, just very few minerals. So, I mean, look how many workers. Let's actually, can we check, uh, what's the unit's loss? No. What's unit's lost? I, I always forget this one. I know it, but I forget it. So, a total of 37 workers killed for Shaq. That's not good. So, and fairly similar on units killed, but I mean, there's there's really little way you can come back from that many worker kills. I mean, at this point, he's just going to have to deal with a lot of kills that... Uh, Again, at this point, it's just going to be very difficult to recover without some more pressure coming from the Chef. These two close banshees did not see that. These guys are heading up here, trying to return some economic damage as well. But this spore crawler here, able to detect those units. Queen's being pulled back. Over spheres there. <clears throat> Excuse me, my throat is so dry. But, um, drones being sniped off left and right. Workers killed. 13. Uh, horror. Will this... Oh, that Banshee is going to... Uh, that's going to take a little bit of damage, but we'll be able to get out of that base fairly quickly. We do see that this uh, Overlord will be able to poke into this base. Not taking a surge just yet. Makes complete sense. Can't even mine out of the both of the bases he has now. We'll be using that as a completely macro base for making sure that he can drop mules as well as get more workers for both of his bases. And at this point, Liquid Sheth uh, seems like an unstoppable force. He's got three bases up. The workers killed um, for Sheth is just huge. The income we can obviously see is in his favor. Really, any tab I look in is going to be in his favor. What else can we look at? Is his APM in his favor? No. So Maker is beating him in APM. So there we go. But uh, still, at this point, it's going to be very difficult recovery for Maker here. Rebuilding that bunker, but hasn't loaded up just yet. This Banshee is still cloaked, which I think is a little bit of a mistake, because why have it cloaked? You're wasting energy. Fourth base going up here now, so even more reasons why Liquid Chef is definitely going to have an economic lead. Just so much power at this point. Mutalis is coming out, even more worker kills. There's no even, there's uh, no, no missile turrets. There is the two engineering base here, but again, no missile turrets. 
This will be problematic, hugely problematic. We see, oh, just a giant pack of mutilists heading up here. Quick response, though, by Maker, so congrats to him for capturing that, making sure that all of his workers are transferred. But again, if those mutilists are microed very well, this will just be huge and problematic. Pulling that out, killing off a Marine. Congratulations to them. Promotion. But, um, total of four bases up. There are Zerglings headed out. Uh, just just so much damage. And, I mean, there, this third base probably won't be going up for another while here. Maker will be all inning. This is, this is how you solve this problem. Uh, you just all in. So you take all your SCVs. So literally all of his income will be off of one SCV and two mules, or whatever, and how many ever mules he drops off. Continue to build workers, so he's, he's doing well at that. But um, he just has this Banshee here, and all these Marines, two medevacs, and a ton of workers. So this point it's going to be not too big of a problem, because we see Marines, Fanelings, and uh, Mutalists out here on the field. These Marines are just going to go down quickly. I mean, there's no way of stopping this force here from Liquid's Chef. So congratulations to Liquid Chef already because this force is quickly wiped away. And GG from Maker. Congratulations to both Maker and Chef for both playing very well in this uh, game here. But again, just an early lead with that Roach push. I mean, there was really not much he could do. Maker having a standard opening, bringing out those Hellions and uh, Banshees, but just... So many roaches pumped really early and pushed into the Terran base here, killing so many workers off, dealing so much damage, and then having Chef just fall back into a total of four bases in constant production. There was really no way for Maker to catch up, so all in, but just a, such a big force there that it was pretty much unstoppable. So congratulations to Team Liquid Chef for taking this game and to both players for playing very well in this game. And... Uh, Thank you very much for watching. If you have not already, be sure to subscribe to the channel uh, for more content. I will be updating it as weekly, uh, so be sure to subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for watching. Be sure to like and uh, maybe even favorite if you enjoyed it quite a bit. Leave your comment on with your thoughts on the game below. And thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.